Hello everyone, here is a quick video on how to factory reset this XL WX5600-T0 wireless mesh repeater device. On the back of the mesh device, near the power, is a reset hole there. I am going to put a paper clip into it and I will let you know when I'm going to press it and you can see what the lights on the front of the mesh node do when you press the reset button. So I'm going to press the reset button now and I'm going to hold it down until the power light starts flashing. There we go. And then I'm going to let go of that reset button. This will now go through a reboot and when it comes back it will be back onto its factory settings ready to plug into another Zyxel M Pro mesh device like this router and uh, re-adopt itself onto a, the mesh system and start transmitting again. So there we go, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much. Well, we are ready to re-adopt onto the other Zyxel network. Plug the mesh device into the main device and wait. Once it's started working and this light is on, you are then able to unplug that network cable and put your mesh device in the midpoint and it will then start doing uh, signal strength repeating uh, of the original router. I also have another video which goes into in depth this and the MPro app and um, everything else about it. So if you're interested in that, have a look in the description of this video for the link to my other video about this repeater mesh device. That light is now on and I'm able to unplug the network cable going to the main router. That will go off for a moment as it resets its topology and connects over the wireless and then it should come on again and go solid. And we're back. That's on, that's on, that's flashing with activity 
there's probably activity flying around the LAN even though there's nothing connected to this mesh node. We're only connected via the power, so that's ready to move somewhere else in the house to do mesh repeating. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.